polish like that as well. <laughs> Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, Cody Williams here again today. I'm going to show you guys my favorite balloon, the 350 Dog. Of course, everyone knows dogs, everyone knows the first thing most people learn, although my first thing I learned was a monkey, sorry. But the first thing you learn is usually a dog. And whenever you see a balloon artist or a clown making balloons, usually people won't ask for a dog, a giraffe, or a snake because everyone knows a dog, a giraffe, or a snake, and they're usually very basic. So they ask for something different, something cooler that they think will come out. So this is one I really have in my arsenal that when someone says dog and the parents say, oh no, don't get that. I tell the parent, no, 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 no. You want my dog. So that sounded wrong. But anyways, and so I make this dog for them. It's really cool. You're gonna need two 350s, two matching 260s, a white 260, um, optional collar. I use yellow and red for dog blood and collar, a pink tongue, and a piece of black scrap or uh, black round. Um, this is black scrap here I'm going to use later. So anyways, um, you're going to start off with the 350s. And you're going to blow these up. Um, about a hand length or so. Let's see, you get a four finger nipple. Maybe five. Do a six finger rubble. So like, or a one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. I'm never good at measuring uh, 350s because, well, I'm not Felix. I'm not good at that stuff, I guess. So six finger rubble or just about a hand. Yeah, that's about six. Followed by an ear twist, and when you do 350s, a one inch bubble basically is two inches. This is easy round, so you can do an ear twist. Hold it, twist. You know the drill. Alright, grab the knot, not the nozzle, lock, bring it down, connect them, and do a lock twist by sending the knot through the center, like so. Make sure when you're working with 350s to do your lock twists. Alright, now you make a bubble slightly smaller than these are the eyes, by the way, like the penguin, and you're gonna make it slightly smaller, so it's gonna be about five fingers or 75% smaller, if you will, about. Let's give me the dog face, like so. So you have dog legs. And... So, all right, now you're gonna make a neck. Oh, well, blow up your next balloon, your next 350. And you're about the same length, I guess. This is the average length that blow up most of my 350s. This is about four finger nipple. I guess tail, actually. You guys don't call it nipple, you guys call it tail. Nozzle, not tail. I'll learn the terminology eventually. Anyways, so make a bubble about four fingers. It's going to be his neck. Yeah, about four fingers. All right, cool. Like so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to tie this balloon around the neck. You're going to tie the balloon to balloon. So watch carefully as I do this. I'm gonna, so I'm, I'm coming behind. Oh, boy. Anyways, I'm going to bring the balloon behind, and I'm going to grab the knot, bring it over, and I'm going to tie the knot to this balloon. So I'm going to bring it around and tie it like so. And now if I've done that correctly, I can just break this off and let go. And now this balloon's gonna stay here. I learned this design from Ken Stillman when I first met him like three years ago. It really works out well because this is how he does his princess arms. He takes a balloon here to retract it, but you can make the balloon any bit longer and this knot actually keeps it inflated. So when you work with 350s, this technique will help you a lot because obviously you need to add balloons and add balloons. So tie the balloon to itself around it, tie it secure, let it go. Make a lunch bubble, or make a round bubble. Here, twist it. You can these much a little more than round. Now you're just going to finish this off like a dog. So just make your dog legs about, okay, it's about the same length as your original eyes. And just, this is one that if you made bubbles a little different sizes, you might have to improvise a little bit and just make it the right proportion for a dog. Like I actually made mine kind of, kind of long legs, short body. You make a longer body, it's a, do it's a dachshund. You make it longer legs. You got a greyhound. It really just depends on what kind of dog you want to make. The way you bend balloons and the way you proportion balloons changes a lot of the effects. So play with it, please. Be a creator, not a. What's the word for it? Creator, not a replicator. Go ahead and create things. Don't just replicate everything you see. Like take the ideas and work with the concepts. So blow up your 260 uh, all the way, leaving a little bit of a uh, tail so that you can tie end to end. Like a salt. And what I do is I actually don't even tie this. I just hold my hand, bring this one around, and I tie end to end. That way I only tie one knot instead of two. Because it's going to hold the air in. I'm running a little late for work, sorry. I'm actually doing this on my way to work tonight. It's Christmas Eve in Wood Roadhouse. It's going to be chaos. It's going to be fun. I told that already. So now tie end to end. Find the center of the balloon, twist, I 
the middle. The reason I do that, not only make cool, fun noises, but it creates a crease at the center. So, now you can divide it in half. These are going to be the ears, of course. I, uh, yeah. And now, you're going to take this over here, attach the top, like so. Actually, went a little out of order. I should have done the eyes first, but oh well. This is going to be his ears. This is going to be his mouth. Blink to your grade to 50. Uh, blow it up. Your average one balloon length. You can do some twists here. You have about five finger nipple. Tail. Wow. All right, do a one inch bubble. Ear twist, one inch bubble. Now do an ear twist at the very beginning of the balloon. You grab the knot itself, bring it down. Your hand's going to simulate the other balloon that would have been there to create an ear twist. Pull up, twist, and squeeze, and you made an ear twist at the very first bubble. If you didn't know how to do that, congratulations. Now you can. Back to your dog. Dog on. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Now, take the ear twist, and the very beginning of your balloon, your first balloon you started with, right, the eyes or meets the nose, attach in this balloon. Now, the ear twist you want to kind of stay in the back, you can hold the face straight. Make two small loop twists, about three fingers each. Make three and a half, I don't know. And it's going to be your two cheeks. So you see what I'm doing here? There you go. It's going to be your cheeks of the dog, and this is going to be his mouth. You're going to do a little bit longer, about four fingers. Make sure you lock it nice and secure. Get rid of the excess. Uh, you can tie it, you can wrap it in, you can do figure eights. However, just make the balloon not deflate on you. There we are. Now I need a pair of eyes. So you see you have people so far, you have this, uh, I usually do this now. I do this first usually, but kind of got ahead of myself. Um, so you have the first 350s you work with here, your 260s, ear twist, loop, loop, then loop. Then you add the ears here, just figure eight, throw in that ear twist. Now you're going to take a white balloon, float halfway, because you really have all you need, unless you want to add teeth. And if you want, you could, uh, after, well, I'll show you in a second. I'll add it, because I don't put teeth in my dog, because I like my dog to be cute. So, take the knot, insert it where you have the rest of the balloon. Like so in the middle. Now, bring up the eye. Make the same length as the first two blue bubbles you made. Connect at that top of your twist. And then make sure like shouldn't when you pull the eye out and you line them side by side so you don't have that pilot cock eye look. Now, twist. Well, I twist the whole head myself. I twist the entire head to lock the balloon in. I have a lot of gooby tactics like that. Break that off. Now, if you wanted to make the teeth, you could have saved that. And you could have made, just made about four bubbles, connected it to here, four bubbles again on this side, but it made teeth. So if you want to do that. I just think it for alligators a lot. And now you're getting there. You're going to need... Ah, you need the lead to work, so it's need. <laughs> I'm lead. It's okay. All right, the yellow balloon. Uh, I use yellow for dog uh, collar. I give it like a little poof of air, like a hand and a half. I'll just make one little dog one out of this. So I'll make an ear twist, like I showed you earlier. Now do a split twist by twisting in opposite directions, like so. Do a two-finger bubble, followed by another ear twist. Then you're going to split twist. Ah, wasn't even. There we are. Make sure you get it even. This looks a lot nicer. <laughs> get rid of the rest. All you need is a little dog bone. Now, next piece I do. I take a magenta, it looks really cute. Again, I don't tie this quite yet. I actually wrap it in the side that I popped, and then I tie the balloon to itself like I did for the 350. The reason I do that is, well, it's only one knot now instead of two, because otherwise I always tie it right here, so I just wrap it in, because if this split twist that we just popped comes undone, this will still hold the air, like, so it'll just, the suture will go away, but this bubble won't, so that the collar stays on. It just won't look as pretty, but it'll last a lot longer. Now, to get the sides right, uh, line this up, go around the neck to where you would attach it. So right there, I twist it there and break it off. I just find this easier to do than attach it and break it. So now, come in. There we are. And here's the dog bone. Now it needs a tongue. Pink balloon. Little poof bear. 
That's all. Attach this at the very beginning again, where that ear twist was. Set it now. Now line this up to the bottom of the bottom lip. So not to here, but to like where the crease is. So you want to have it there. Break it, hide it there. And obviously like this looks kind of stupid. So we're gonna tuck that into there, making a little tongue of his mouth. Now I need a black piece of scrap. Ah, there we go. It's set now. So, 350. Basically, you just want to make there's a hole in it. All right, that's better. Okay, so, because all I need is a little black bubble, like so. I want the very end of the blue because it looks a lot nicer. Stung a little bit. Slight, slight. Sorry, school. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Oh, this is a great scoop, by the way. It makes it all brown and black spots and black ears, maybe. You know. Anyways. Also, you want to make dog's ears. You can bend them down. Like I said before, you can bend balloons and add the detail. You have that puppy face. Or you go. You have that puppy face. Up to you. Now. So, yeah. My favorite the uh, balloon animal of the moment. My little creation here. My 350 dog. It's kind of long tutorial. It's kind of ranting in it. But uh, you know what? I try to. I just don't like silences, so I just keep talking a lot. As you can tell, I'm one of those guys. I know. Anyways, you have the big dog. If you want to add a leash to it, you just add your twist in the back of the collar when you're outside again. Apply a balloon to it. You have a dog on a leash. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Well, other than that, play with the design. Have fun with it. Any questions, anything I did wrong with tutorial, because if you want to rant too much, let me know. I'll do it. That's your comment. I don't know. You guys have a great day today. A better tomorrow. Merry Christmas. Have fun. I will see you guys next year. Because I might not be able to do tutorial until then. Find out. Hopefully I can. Yep. That's the I'm going to go bye-bye button. See ya.